<clears throat> Great chemical reaction. This will help me prove evil Dr. Porkchop wrong about his plutonium and make him look pathetic. Hello, Dr. Evil. I heard that. I'm sorry you had to hear that, evil Dr. Porkchop. How are you doing this fine evening? I'm rather splendid. How about you? I'm delighted, as I have found much more success off my, ur my uranium bomb than your pathetic plutonium bomb. HA! Your uranium bomb will never be as successful as my plutonium bomb. Look at the damage in history. What history and damage? It's non-existent. The Fat Man, Nagasaki, Japan, World War II. Well, uranium was the first nuclear bomb dropped in Hiroshima during World War II. Well then, besides warfare success, how are you going to prove that uranium is better than plutonium? The amount of critical mass required for plutonium is one-third less than uranium-235. Okay, okay. But uranium is much more abundant in the atmosphere than plutonium, making it a much better investment financially for us. But we can also use that uranium for electricity, for its main use is electricity. But we can also blow it up as a little bonus. Plutonium has a much stronger atomic structure than uranium. Also, plutonium has a higher boiling and melting point, making it easier to work with in extreme conditions. Also, the state of plutonium at 25 degrees Celsius is solid. Well, the state of uranium at 25 degrees Celsius is solid as well. But uranium is also less dense than plutonium. But I also forgot to mention earlier, but that one ton of natural uranium can produce more than 40 million kilowatt hours of electricity. This is equivalent to burning 16,000 tons of coal or 80,000 barrels of oil. The atomic structure of plutonium is about 244. The amount of plutonium required for a critical mass is about one-third necessary of uranium-235. The average atomic mass is 238.02891, and uranium has a better history due to the fact that it's been known for much longer. That means we can research it longer. Dr. Evil, plutonium has more isotopes than uranium, which means we have more molecules offered to us for the bombs. Yes, but even the isotopes are not fissile. They cannot sustain the chain reactions needed. Plutonium-240 is an exception to that rule. Six pounds of plutonium can change the balance of the Earth. Evil Dr. Porkchop, just listen here. Plutonium is man-made. It's going to be extremely hard to find and extremely costly. Yes, but it'll allow for a greater explosion, more damage, and more lives ruined. Yes, more lives will be ruined. But plutonium will not cause for a greater explosion because of its density. And uranium is much easier to find and much more tested with success in the field of nuclear bombs. Yes, well Also, the particles are packed more tightly than that of plutonium. Yes, while that may be true... Plutonium is much more explosive. Six pounds of it can change the balance of the Earth! I get that six pounds of it can change the balance of the Earth. But uranium is also more abundant and much cheaper, as I said for the fourth time. It has much more uses than bombs. It produces much more energy when burned than that of plutonium, which is man-made energy. Who needs the energy? We are trying to make a bomb, not a nuclear power plant! Okay. That's energy... Burn will create much greater explosion. So if uranium's power output is larger than that of plutonium's, uranium will simply have the larger explosion. How hard is that to understand? But only one isotope of uranium can be explosive. Uranium-235! Yes, that may be true, but uranium is still much more abundant than plutonium because it's naturally occurring. To make plutonium, you need uranium. If we use uranium, why we just make plutonium from it? Because it takes radioactive decay to make plutonium from uranium, and uranium's power output will be diminished when it is made into plutonium. But plutonium is much more radioactive than uranium. We are trying to build a nuclear bomb, right? Yes, we are. And yes, plutonium is much more radioactive and unstable, which can benefit us, but it can also hurt us if something goes drastically wrong. So what? Nothing will go wrong. We won't destroy America. This is simply a test bomb. Anything is possible, Porkchop. Even if we use less than six pounds, we can still cause major damage here in America. So no one will know it was us. Plus, we can go somewhere if something goes wrong. Yeah, I mean, that may be true, but still, the Earth will be messed up in its entirety. With uranium, it's not possible to destroy the Earth's balance. Well, I guess that's true. But if we need these in times of war, plutonium will be more successful! We will make more money! We're spending money on it, number one. Number two, it won't help! It'll just destroy the Earth! Although we will win the battle, we will all lose the war. Okay, we'll all be dead. Uranium may be safer, but why should we use it? Your argument is invalid. This is stupid. It is safer. But why don't we just build both and see what happens? That's not a bad idea, Dr. Evil. But you're right. Uranium might be safer and might be more important if everyone wants to use it. If we use plutonium... We must use it in moderation, though, because it will be more successful than plutonium than uranium, and we will have more bombs. Oh, we, 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 okay, we might have more bombs, 
And I know the uranium's safer. I said that. It benefits everybody. And I know I'm always right. I'm already... I'm willing to test plutonium as well as uranium. Let's use both! Two bombs! Bongo boom!